Good morning everyone. Today is April 4th, 2023. It's officially the opening day of Tron Light Cycle Run here at Magic Kingdom. And by some miracle, we actually got a boarding group. And we got boarding group six. So we are here, we are in the park, we are ready, and we're gonna bring you along for the opening day. Cinderella Castle, the 50th anniversary medallion is gone, but we're also seeing a lot of 50th anniversary decorations still up in the park. Day today, Tron Light Cycle Run presented by Enterprise is officially open to the public as of today, April 4th, 2023. And if you have no idea what Tron is, it's okay. I'm sure you will very shortly find out today. It is a brand new Tron Light Cycle Run flag over next to the basement in Tomorrowland. It takes you on a journey we're going through this like side bypass thing it's open sometimes for special events or when it's really really crowded it's 8 45 a.m the park's not even officially open until 9 and we have boarding group 6 and it was just called we thought we'd have time to look at some merchandise before we ride but we do not we need to hustle for the ride because right now they added an announcement onto the website and we've heard from a lot of people that if you're late for your boarding group, they're turning people away. So, I mean, we're here, we're fine, we have an hour window, but like, the park's not even open yet. We had boarding group six and we're being called. So be prepared, if you get an early boarding group, you need to be ready to go. Good morning. Welcome. Hi, good morning. Good morning. As five minutes, all of the lands of the Magic Kingdom will be opening. We encourage you to make your way to Cinderella Castle for a very special presentation. Thank you. Even though our boarding group was called, they're not letting people in until nine. So we're gonna watch the little morning welcome show. They did remove the 50th anniversary medallion, but a lot of the other decorations are still up on the castle. I see a bird on the balcony. It's a real star. He's like, ah, finally, my balcony is open again. Yeah. To all the flood of people into Tomorrowland. I already see people coming out with merchandise somehow. They open that line separately. Yeah, I guess they've let them in to start shopping. 
but we are gonna go in to check in with our virtual queue. So they kind of separated the merchandise line. We'll check it out after. So after we ride, we'll come get in the line. They must have called the first, oh, it disappeared. They must have called the first 17 groups at once because it says boarding groups one through 17. There's another drop at 1 p.m. There it is. So you'll have another chance to get a virtual queue at 1 p.m. I love the way this mist looks in the morning. The brand new facade of the Tomorrowland Launch Depot, the shop for both Space Mountain and Tron Light Cycle Run. It's not open fully to the public yet, so the merch is for sale somewhere else apparently. Only folks who pre-booked the identity program can go into this store right now, but it will be open to the public soon. And all the merchandise they said is available in Star Traders right now, but we'll go into the store too. It's cool to get a first look. All right, here we go. You can hear the music. It feels weird just to be able to just walk up here. It now. feels so weird. Oh, that's good. There's a virtual queue line and a lightning lane line. We're in the virtual queue line. Now it's groups one through 19. Wow, this is moving so quickly. It's 9.05 and we're going in. All right, stuff is going in locker. There's a compartment on the light cycle for your phone, so I'll keep that with me. And I have a GoPro with a chest strap to record the ride with. We, it was so fast, yeah. like so fast. Is this the thingy? This is the thingy. Okay, we're getting in. Phone's in the thingy. Hopefully this thing's recording. <laughs> and pull. Push forward for me, push forward. Am I nestled, am I nestled in? Yeah. All right, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're going already. Prepare for Team Blue Light Cycle Run upload sequence. Wow. Remember, hold on, keep your head up, and face forward. Initiate in three, two, one.
phone. Oh, yeah. Imagine I get off without my phone. <laughs> I bet that would happen. That, I bet that will happen. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of doing that too, sitting like cross, cross armed. Oh, let me out. Ugh. Woo, all done. Oh boy. 9.22 a.m. and we are off the ride. We have already ridden Tron and gotten off. All right, we're in three, 300. 3.46 maybe? Yeah. Ooh, I actually remembered. Ah, this wasn't open last time, so got a little light cycle up here, a little team green, presented by Enterprise. empty trains running. With virtual queue, this is such a different opening day than most other big rides that have opened here at Disney World. Also, it's been soft open for like a few weeks already and there were already pass holder previews and cast member previews, so that's a full train. That's what we like to see. All right, it does look like now a lot of people are showing up for those morning virtual queues and we're gonna try to make our way to the shopping and check out the new merch. All right, we are gonna get into the merchandise line now and check out the brand new Tron Light Cycle Run stuff. Going behind the blue rocks. Hardly ever get to go back here anymore, unless it's like a special party or event. Last time we were checking out the party. The party. Thank you. Whoa, this is so weird. Look. So they sh they set up sort of a pop-up shop. They put posters. Thank you. Wow. Whoa. It's Star Traders. There is a pass holder shirt, so we're gonna grab that. It says, Tron Light Cycle Run, the grid goes live, 2023 pass holder, Tomorrowland Magic Kingdom. All right, yeah, we gotta get that one. The grid goes live, 2023 pass holder pin also. It's $17.99. The pass holder shirt is $39.99. It says purchase is limited to two. There's a lot of cute merchandise in here, a lot. And this is gonna be available, so. There's a the people mover. Limited 2,100. Ooh, wow. Why does that make you instantly want it? It makes me want it, right? <laughs> That's how they get you. There is a lot. Quite a lot. Yeah, I'm sure all this stuff. There are sweaters and tank tops and hats and pins and bags. A light up photo frame, $29.99. Looks like a disc with a light cycle underneath. Identity disc with Bluetooth speaker. $69.99. There's kids' shirts too. Oh, slap bracelets with the different teams. Yellow, orange, blue, red. They actually have regular Magic Bands too, not Magic Band Pluses, which I haven't seen these around much, so that's kind of neat. And then another hat too. Light up keychain. Very tempted. How much is this one? Seventy dollars. Wow! And it's a uh, remote control. Interesting. I think I think this is the one that you can put like if you get the oh, custom. Oh, the identity program. Yeah. yeah, you can put your like face on it. I think this would look very cool on my shelf. But... Yeah. Wow. All 
I like this one too. $29.99 for the Flynn's hat. What does it have on the back? Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Action figures. Yeah, I like it too. You're here. Good yeah. to the end. Uh -huh. Yay! Happy Tron Day. Happy Tron Day. Day. Day Tron. I like that. We had to be here. Yep. 404. Did you notice that? Oh, no, I didn't. It's like, it's weird though, because it's like, they 404 is like a website error. Yeah, true. Oh. Maybe that's fitting with us because we may or may not get on the ride today. We may or may not. We don't uh, so. actually have a <laughs> virtual queue, but we got one more chance of one. And if not, we'll just come on back. I'm excited to follow your journey, and I can't wait to see if you guys got to ride or not today. Yeah. Well, Either yeah. way, it's open now, so it'll you can ride. There. Yeah, it'll yeah. Be out there on the interwebs. Uh, on the YouTube, the Tampa J, Chris, the girl, yeah. can't wait to see. Thank you. Yay! Yeah, All right, we're gonna eat their donut now. Okay. Buzz Lightyear's out. He's so cute. He's just kind of on the stage, and he waves to people and interacts a little bit. But that's so cute. <laughs> So it does look like they are keeping the castle colors. It's kind of like a pink, almost like a rose gold. It's nice to see the clock again. It is nice to see the clock again. And the whole front, that little balcony up there, very classic looking, very pretty. Who misses the kind of gray and, and white and blue color though? And who likes the pink? Let me know. I mean, I like both and I can appreciate both, but I kind of do miss the old way. Kind of, kind of think I like the gray. Yeah, me too. Either way, it's still a beautiful castle. Oh yeah, I see them. When did they do in the fireworks? Ooh, ah, oh, Dapper Dance. Dapper Dance and Dance. Yay! Oh. Woo. <laughs> May I show you guys in your new spring outfits? Yeah. I noticed them from over there and I was like, what's the outfit change? Yeah, Mom laid them out for us, so we just put them on. They look really good. I would have thought Mickey laid them out for you. No, no, oh, yeah, he's he's got things 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 so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May I get a picture? Yeah. Oh my god, it looks so good. Thank you so much. Thanks, Love thanks. the Dapper Dance. Since we are here, we are gonna hop on the Walt Disney World Railroad and take a train ride. Do a little loop de loo on the train. We love the train. Like for Toronto, Newton Day. Yeah, that's cool. Woohoo, train. The 50th anniversary monorail wrap is still there. Folks, we're beginning a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. With stops along the way in Frontierland and Fantasyland. About to stop. Big thump. Catch a ride on its runaway trains. Flash Mountain construction. Wow. We've reached Frontierland Station, wow. everyone, so sit tight and hold those horses until we've come to a complete stop. Oh, wow. It's season. Pile of rubble. All right, my friend. Splash Mountain, 
currently being transformed into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. <laughs> We're going to go all the way around. Welcome aboard. We're heading for our next stop, Fantasyland, before carrying on to Main Street, USA. Everybody stay seated and keep your wow. hands and arms, feet and legs safely Whoa, inside the train. Whoa, crazy. And as always, keep an eye on that. Yeah. It's wild, huh? Big Thunder Mountain is the place. Look at this. Little extra theming over here. All the way to feet inside the train, not dangling. Thank you. <laughs> Does someone have dangling feet right now? Oh, the beautiful river scene. Yes, we are dangling feet. Oh, it's so pretty back here. The beautiful rivers of America. So pretty back here. Folks, we're in nature's wonderland. Isn't it something? Just think of the extraordinary things to see and do in these woods. Setting out for adventure at sunrise and telling the tale around a camp. Listen, hear that? Yeah, that's the road right there. We're at the Storybook Circus, and then the next stop is Main Street USA again. But we're going to pass through Tron, the Tron Tunnel, for the first time since the ride has been officially open. It's a thing. I'm making it a thing. Train and tunnel? Yeah. Not like that. Metropolis of Mechanical Marvels, Tomorrowland. All right, here we go. Through the Tron Tunnel. It's now programming. I love this railroad about as much as a songbird loves the morning. But I'm still awed by the rockets and space and fun. Your technology. Cool. Still has his 50th anniversary medallion. The lines to get into the store for shopping are really short right now, so we came back to see if we could get into the other. They created two identical stores that have the same thing, and one of them is in the pre show area for the former Stitch attraction. So we wanted to get in there. I know we won't be able to see anything, but just to be in there would be kind of cool. So we're gonna go in the other store.
Oh, here's what it looks like lit up. Cool. So you just... Seeing you guys, yes, of course. Guys, yeah. uh, that was that was the highlight. Yeah, highlight. Um, you know, we're so grateful. To, you know, to be past. I'm grateful to be a past member. For so sure. we'll try it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, it's open now, so people yeah. can just ride. Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. And like I would have been out here for pass order previews, but I, I missed that because uh, I tried to get in on that. And I missed it, but uh, there'll be plenty of time. Much ahead, as someone said. Much ahead. <laughs> now there is a food stand inside the Tron area called Energy Bites, so why not try something? Here's the menu, so there's some dumplings, some donut holes. So we got the watermelon refresher with yuzu citrus, ginger, and popping candy, and the beef and broccoli digital dumplings with broccoli pesto, crispy garlic, and ginger soy broth. All right, let's try the dumpling. It looks like there's three dumplings in here. Let's give that a go. All right, me and Sam are both gonna try it. It's really salty, like really, really, really salty. And it tastes like it could be better. I'm not sure how. It could be like a little more tender. I normally love dumplings, so, but let's try this. I think the popping candies just fell in or like melted because it's so hot. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher, it's very sweet. In the picture, it looked like a slush but it's liquid, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a slush and it just melted, or the picture just looks like something else, but mine is liquid with a bit of a slushy part inside. So this, uh, you can see like a frozen chunk inside. It's interesting. I don't know if they overdid it on the soy sauce or what, but I, I can't finish it. I wanted to like it, I normally love dumplings, but it is just too salty. It just tastes like pure salt. No, sir, I don't like it. I normally like anything meat, like anything. Yeah. That was a bit chewy. It's really chewy, right? No. Not not a favorite. I don't think we'll be going back for that. No. Maybe the buffalo one is Yeah, nice. we'll try that next time. I don't know. Right now, we're good. Hey, like opening day is going smoothly but this is definitely a different vibe than opening day of the past few big attractions for many reasons one of which this ride's already been soft opened for a couple of weeks so a ton of people have been able to come out and ride it it already had long cast member previews pass holder previews so a lot of folks have been able to ride already so that kind of takes the hype level a little down. And then also the virtual queue and lightning lane. So you cannot come and ride this and just wait in a standby line at this point. You, you can't. So I think if that were the case, if people could, a lot more people would have a chance to ride. But we've seen a bunch of friends, seen a bunch of people. It's been fun, good atmosphere, but definitely a different atmosphere. I do kind of miss the opening days of rides like Guardians of the Galaxy, where like everybody was there. There was a lot of excitement in the air. Even Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, when just like everybody's there and there's a lot of excitement and it's a different vibe. This just feels like a normal day, which I don't know if it's bad or good. There's, there's pros and cons. The pros are, if you got a virtual queue or a lightning lane, you're guaranteed to ride without a huge line. You don't have to spend your whole day in line, which is nice for those who got it. For us, it was almost like, we're, we're just on, we're just on. 
Okay, we're on, cool. We do think it's a really fun ride. We did ride it during pass holder previews and enjoyed it then and enjoyed it again. And if you want a more detailed breakdown of the seats, the ride vehicles, the test seats, how they feel to sit in, how to fit in them and all of that, check out my video of our pass holder preview riding Tron because we went into a lot more detail about all of that in that video. The theming is cool, the music is cool. It's a nice addition to the park. We like that it's something new added in and nothing was taken away. It didn't replace anything, it's just an extra ride, which is, you know what, the more rides, the better. They did say that the store, the merchandise situation, they said they think it'll be for the first couple of weeks, it's going to be those stores right at the front of Tomorrowland. So I do think it's really cool, and it's the luck of the draw which store you get into. You can't ask to get into one or the other. One is in Star Traders, which they've temporarily remade into a full Tron shop, and one is in the former pre-show, like pre-loading area for the Stitch attraction that's been closed for years that I miss so much. It was so fun and scary, really. You're just like trapped and he's spitting on you and it's a whole thing, but we miss the Stitch attraction. Hopefully there's something else in there, but it was so crazy to be in that store and see just all the fixtures and paint and design still there. Like, they haven't changed it. That's wild. But either way, we had a great time today and it's always nice to be at Magic Kingdom to see all the wonderful people we saw and get to say hello Tron on 404, April 4th. It's usually uh, an error, website won't load error, but I guess today the website loaded. Hopefully, hopefully it loaded for a lot of people. But if not, even if you didn't get to ride it today, it's now open, so that's it. Anytime you come to Magic Kingdom, you can give it a go and try to ride. It will be virtual queue and lightning lane only for a while, and it's an individual lightning lane, not part of Genie Plus for the day. But I'd say it's worth it, especially for something new and fun. So thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, I hope you had a great time as we did. It is very, very hot. It is very, very crowded, but it is very, very fun to be here. So I'm sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.